That is the, the Mears, um, Mearsbury, um, which is called Ladle Hill on the OS map. But in, uh, in Anglo-Saxon times it was Mearbiria, um, which means the fortification of the pond or Mea. Mea is more a romantic name, pond is a bit prosaic. But uh, we're going to try and get to that before the light fades. There's also the possibility, according to the record of a disc and barrow. So I, f I found the gate um, which is on the um, south side and uh, I was starting to wonder whether there was any at all. Often you find uh, a, a couple but there only seems to be one. I haven't done the entire lot but anyway I'm, I'm pleased. <laughs> so we done. What I was going to do was try and base an idea of where the real um, road is either east or west of the of the fortification by where the gate went out to which direction it went so um, fate has rewarded me by instead of going east or west it's decided to go south hedging its bets um, anyway so yeah it goes this is a flatter bit it's a ridge that goes down um, I can just see some more earthworks down there but nothing particularly impressive it looks like just a small enclosure um, and in, in the far distance, I don't know whether you can see, there is um, seven barrows. We might not be able to get that far today because the sun will be going down in three hours, two hours. So um, I am going to go and have a look at um, Mears, um, Mears Birria, um, Ladle Hill. So uh, I'm running out of daylight, the sun's getting lower in the sky. Probably got two and a half hours I should think. Well, I don't walk as quickly as, a, as I should do. Um, but I'm determined to have a look at Ladle Hill, there's a couple of things I want to have a look at it. It's, uh, I'd be disappointed if we can't see this and get close to the Seven Barrows. But um, let's, see, let's see how far we can get. You can um, <clears throat> you can see me looking ar uh, around me as I'm going down this path, uh, the path on the footage before, is um, that I'm looking around at the bank and the, the hollow that I'm in, uh, the hollow way, and it's quite clearly quite an old old road. If you um, run your finger up the map along the, the path I was walking along, you'll see a. a, a up to a crossroads and then a, then a proper road going north. If you take that road a little bit further into, into Berkeley, you'll find a field, um, according to Grundy, GB Grundy, um, a field on the tithe map of the, sort of the 1830s, 1840s, um, and it's called something like Pilgrim's, or Pilgrim's Field, or, or, or Meadow, whatever. Um, what he um, he makes the um, the link between it and the road going south to to Winchester, the one I was walking along, uh, and makes the the connection. Well, he calls it the um, a pilgrim's way, 
Now there is a um, a link to another, not a link, a reference to uh, an academic paper, but I could, which I haven't been able to find. But I'm going to take it on um, Grundy's word uh, that it is in fact that that road I was on. Um, that my instinct that it was a very old road does seem to be true. It's the Pilgrim's Way. I think we're seeing, um, now the sun's getting a bit lower, there's some bigger shadows. It could very well be an Iron Age field system. It uh, doesn't look massively old, because then you get um, the old Celtic field systems, your really little, little squares, crazy paving. But uh, I've seen uh, field systems like that around uh, a hill fort um, at, um, overlooking Bath. Uh, well it's marked down on the map as a field system, yeah, but uh, somebody obviously hasn't, isn't prepared to go any further than that, but uh, yeah, it looks like it to me. I haven't mentioned G.B. Grundy yet. He's the man in the uh, 1920s who interpreted hundreds of um, Anglo-Saxon charters to give us an insight into the past. He was looking for an insight into Roman past and, it, and he admitted it didn't really help him do that. We still carried on. Um, so I don't want anybody to think this is original research, but if I can catch the old man out, I would really like to while I have. I think I have a couple of times. Um, but uh, other people have as well, but he's a really good start. He'll give you loads of clues to get started. And then you go, ah, and then it's a bit like a Sudoku. Once you're in, you're in. Uh, it's a uh, Hampshire, Berkshire, uh, Somerset, a reason, no, Wiltshire, really easy to find on the internet. The rest of them are quite hard, uh, but you can't buy them. They're all out of print. But, uh, yeah, so for example, he names, a, he names a river down here as being the sheep burn, the sheep, um, no, the shape wash, uh, which is the, sh the sheep wash. Um, I think he names the wrong river. I think it's the one over the hill because there's a farm called Sheep Wash Barn. Uh, so, uh, so I think I caught the old man out on this one, but uh, so it's definitely worth um, doing. Anyway, on our way to uh, Ladle Hill now, just 100 yards.